Hello kids, welcome to craft time again. It's so happy to see you doing all the crafts. Well, if you're following teacher Melanie every week to do the crafts, I need you to send in your photos on the comment box below so I can see. Or you can send to us, to send to the teachers all the beautiful crafts that we have done. Awesome! And today we have just learned about honouring our mothers. Well, it's Mother's Day and so we want to do something very special for our mothers. Remember, we just learned today that we will honour our mother by listening and obeying to them and also to honour them with our attitude. But lastly, we will also want to use kind words to encourage her. Yes, so today our craft is to make something for our moms. Yay! Now, how many of you are excited already? Right, we're going to make a card for our mom and uh, we're going to write a letter to our mothers. What is it about your mom that makes them special? What makes them feel loved and that they love about them? We are going to write a special letter that will make her heart sing, okay? But before we write the letter, we're going to decorate first. All you need is again, watercolour paints, any paints you have, um, a tape, it can be washi tape like this or masking tape, any kind of tapes that make sure as long as the tape when you stick, you still can take it out and it won't tear your paper, okay? Okay, something not so strong so it doesn't tear your paper, your art block paper or your card, okay? Preferably it's a card. Then again, water and brush and also some dirty cloth and the scissors. As simple as that. So go ahead and prepare those right now and pause the video. All you need is to, very simple, it's just like last week that we did, we are going to use our thumb so that it's so that's so simple and easy for every one of us to make a card for our mothers. You don't need a lot of fancy things, you just paint and that's it. You can do. Now, what you need is this tape. You need to draw a letter mom on the paper using this tape. Okay, it doesn't need to be perfect once again. You just need to use this tape to draw a letter. Okay, so for example, I'm going to put one strip here first so that I can measure. Okay, I'm going to draw a mom here. If you want to ma make it nicer, you use a pencil to write first M, O, M, mom. Okay, so I'm going to make an art in front. Beautiful art in front and then behind I'm going to write my letter to my mom. So what, that's what I'm going to do, okay? Depends how big is your paper. So if your paper is uh, longer a bit, it will be better. Okay, so now you have the word mom, okay? Make it, um, there's a gap in between, that's most important. And then once you tape the word out, it's supposed to be, you have more gaps here. So if your paper is bigger, be better. Okay, this paper is actually slightly too small. So your tape must be smaller. Your words must be smaller, okay? Now, this is just an example, but you can do it however you like, okay? No, no need to be perfect. Like teacher Melanie here, you see there's a big M and there's a small M. It's fine, okay? Don't worry about it. So now we're going to continue to paint it now, okay? We're going to paint it. Now you can go crazy with the colours right now. Any colours you like, just do it. This is the fun part. Go with the lighter one first. Like the colour first, okay? So you're going to dab, dab, dab. Okay, anywhere, everywhere. The whole page, you're going to fill the whole page with colours right now. Ok, 
cannot be too wet or too dry as well. But have fun with all the colors. Yeah, mix them around as much as you can. Because the more color, the nicer it is. But the colors must be at least something that is matching. Any color you like. Anything that you make by hand, I'm sure your mother would love it. So go ahead and dab that dab. Make sure you have newspaper under the paper so that you don't the deep like I do. <laughs> have the last color make sure you cover those white spaces everywhere around the tape especially then it will turn out nice at the end okay so I'm gonna fill up all the white spaces right now you can just do what your mother's favorite color is don't worry all you need is um, to fill up the colors as much as you can fill up the background the white part as much as you can so that the mum will turn out nice the word okay so okay now you need to wait for it to dry up first before you peel up okay just give like let's say 10 20 minutes then you can take it up and write your letter okay now we're gonna Test and see how it looks like when you take out the tape, okay? Let's see, okay. You need to take out gently, very gently. Ooh, look at that. If you tape nicely in the beginning, it will be a very nice end. So make sure that you tape nicely. You see here, there's a gap, so there's. A It turned out so beautiful, isn't it? Yay! That's so cute! Nice! So you can put as many colors as you like and it will be very beautiful like this. Wow! Look at that! Well, right now, here is this is the outcome of how it looks like and then what you need to do is you flip over and you write your letter here. I'm gonna write a special letter to make her heart sing, okay? So I want you to write something that you like about her, okay? For example, I like Mama, Mom, I like the way you read to me, or I like the way you help me when I'm hurt, or I like the way you pray for me at bedtime. I like it when you hug me. I like it when you take me to shopping. Wow. So there are many things that you can talk about your mom make sure that you write something to let her know what makes them special what is special about them and then what that makes them feel loved so for example for my mom i'm gonna write i like the food that you cook for me it's all so delicious okay so i'm gonna write there dear mom i call my mom mommy though so you can do mom or mommy. So you can thank your mother. Okay, you can say I like the food that you cook for me. I like that you are sensitive to my needs when I do not say. It. I thank you for giving your best to me and loving me with your heart and sacrifices now you can make use your own words make it something that you a simple and you're able to write it if you need help ask your coco teacher to help you or your daddy to help you to write the letter most of 
what's important here is that you need to write something that you like about your mother what makes them special and what makes them feel loved and that they love about them as well and then give a word of encouragement at the end say thank you for being the best mom to me I love you you can write that and sign off with your name I like to put a heart shape always that's it that's your love letter your special letter to your mom oh don't forget to write happy mother's day happy mother's day that's all for today's craft thank you see you again bye